Ben and Jerry's decided to boycott Israel by refusing to sell its ice cream in Judea and Samaria, an area where almost half a million Jews live. Judea and Samaria are regions of Israel that are deeply connected to the Jewish people, both historically and religiously. Most of the events of the Bible took place in these areas. By refusing to sell ice cream in Judea and Samaria, Ben and Jerry's joined the BDS movement, a movement that tries to destroy Israel by suffocating it economically. And in order to do so, the BDS movement calls and lobbies governments and companies to not do business in Israel and to boycott Israeli products abroad. So why did Ben and Jerry's boycott Israel? Ben and Jerry's decided that Judea and Samaria belongs to the Palestinian Authority, a government which vows to expel any Jew living in the area. A government that spends about 10% of its budget every year to pay terrorists who murder Jews. But why did Ben and Jerry's choose to boycott only Israel and not any other place where human rights are actually violated? Like in Syria, just in the last decade, the Syrian regime has killed over 400,000 people to crush opposition. Why does the BDS movement boycott only Israel? Or in other words, why does the BDS movement boycott only Jewish people? The truth is that companies like Ben & Jerry's and the BDS movement are not the first ones to boycott Jewish people. In the 1930s, Nazi Germany passed a resolution to boycott all Jewish businesses in Germany. Nazi SS officers actually stood outside of Jewish stores, making sure that nobody goes in to buy anything. The Nazi movement had the goal to destroy the Jewish people, and the BDS movement has the goal to destroy the Jewish state. The source of this hatred towards the Jewish people is anti-Semitism, which every generation comes in different forms and with different excuses. The first form of anti-Semitism was a religious one. Jews were blamed for going against God and siding with the devil. This included accusations of using blood of non-Jewish kids for Jewish rituals. These accusations resulted in mass massacres of Jews throughout Europe. In addition, Jews were expelled from every European country. When Europe became less religious, anti-Semites had to find a new excuse to hate Jews. Hitler described the Jews as a subrace a parasite that goes from nation to nation and uses the nation's resources for its own benefit. Hitler blamed the Jews for trying to pollute the German nation by intermarriage and accused them of trying to take over the world. This led to the boycott of Jewish businesses in Germany, to the burning of synagogues, and eventually the Holocaust where six million Jews were murdered. What we see is that anti-Semitism comes in many forms. Today, it's not politically correct to say, I hate Jews. So you say, I hate Israelis, or I boycott Israelis. But the truth is that it's, it all comes from the same source. So what do we do in response to Ben and Jerry's book at, of Israel and the BDS movement? First, stop buying Ben and Jerry's. Second, invest in Judea and Samaria, invest in Israel. Try to find Israeli products and products from Judea and Samaria and buy them. Donate money to organizations who invest in Judea and Samaria. We need to invest in Israel and make an effort to create a strong Jewish presence in Judea and Samaria.